Hello. Eric, Dogs College and Training Center here. I'm going to do a little uh, troubleshooting video with the e collar, the EZ900. Um, this is a micro receiver. Uh, if you have a standard receiver, it's going to look slightly different than this, but it's going to operate exactly the same. So, um, obviously, if we're not sure if this is working right, we know how to power it on. We're going to place these red dots together. That's going to give us a green light. We want to look for this second light to indicate the battery level. That's green, so we know this is not dead. That would be the first thing I'd look at. Make sure both of these things are charged. This is going to show you the battery level, so you get your battery level. Uh, the next thing I, I'm going to do is I'm just going to press the constant stem button to see if these are both lighting up because that's an indicator that they are communicating together and they're both working. So see if you've got that, okay? Um, if you do have, if you don't have this, then, then you got an issue somewhere. Either this is not paired, if this is lighting up and this is not, that would tell me that this got unpaired somehow, and then we just need to pair it back up, which is relatively easy. Um, <clears throat> if this is lit up, well, uh, the other thing is if you're pressing this and you're getting no red light on the res the uh, transmitter or the receiver, the remote or the collar, uh, then there's a good chance you're at zero. I don't know if you can see that, but zero, if you're not giving any stim to this, you're not communicating, you're not doing anything. So we need to dial this up to one or higher, and then when we press, then they should both light up. Okay, so... Uh, how to repair. So first off, you're going to want to turn your collar off. Okay, so this is off. You're going to need your dial down to zero. So if it's on any number but zero, this will not work. So you need to put this down to zero. Okay, and then instead of just powering this on by really quickly moving these um, magnets next to each other, we're going to uh, place the magnets next, next to each other and hold there for about four or five seconds until this light starts blinking quickly in green. Okay. And then you're going to have, uh, just a few seconds while this is in pairing mode to, to do this process. It, once this stops blinking, it's out of pairing mode. You gotta, you gotta start over. So when this is in pairing mode, I'm going to press and hold the on off button. And while holding that, I'm going to press this button right here. Okay. I'm going to go boop, boop. And then you're going to hear this go do do do, and then it's paired. Okay, so here we go. Holding these red dots together. Two, three, four. This is blinking. Okay. This is at zero. Dial is down. Boom, boom. Do do do. All right, so now these are paired. So I'm going to test. I'm going to put this up oh, uh, above zero so that it'll actually be giving stim. Boom, those are both lighting up, that's paired. Now the other issue that you might have is if you locked your dial. So if you happen to have your dial at zero and you locked it, or even if you have it at um, one or two and you lock it, and then you're trying to give stim, the stim is gonna be so low that you're not gonna feel it, and your dog's probably not gonna feel it. Or even if they do feel it, sometimes, if there's any kind of distractions around, they're not gonna respond to it in any way. So. If you've got this locked, well, first off, you want this 1D to be flashing all the time. That means it's unlocked, your dial is unlocked, you can move this around. Hey, quit pulling on me. Um, if, it's, if it's locked, that means you accidentally pressed and held this P button, this program button, because if you press and hold that, just for about two seconds, this 1D is now solid, it is not flashing. That means your dial is locked. That number will not change until you unlock it, okay? So you need to unlock it. So you're gonna press and hold, boom, boom, and now this is uh, flashing again, okay? So now your dial will adjust your level. There you go. Those are two, two uh, issues that you may be experiencing. If you're not sure if it's giving stim, then I would, I, there's a little device that comes in your box that you can test this with. Um, you place it here and it lights up, but really, I mean, just, you know, I'll do it this way. It'll be a little bit easier. Uh, put a finger on each one of these, 
start at zero, just press and hold, and then just dial up until you feel something. Okay, so that's like a 12, 13 for me that I start to feel it. Okay, so it's working. If I, I'll go a little bit higher. Okay, yeah, I can feel that. Oh, timed out. So I'm just going to press that again. Yeah, so it's working. So if it's not working, then um, I would first check your contact points, make sure they're on there good and they don't have to be super, super tight, but they need to be snug. Um, if that's the case, uh, if these are both lighting up and you are, and these are connected well, and you're not feeling anything here, um, then that's potentially uh, something that needs to be um, communicated with eCollar Tech. You may have um, a faulty piece of equipment. Um, I'm not sure that I've ever had that happen. Um, that would be unusual. But if you've done these steps, you know, you, 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 we know that they're on. We know that they both have power. They've both been charged. And when we're pressing this button, we're getting a red light on both the remote and the collar. We test to see if we feel that. I feel that little tingle sensation. So that's working. If you're not getting that, then there's potentially um, hardware issues. If you believe that you're having hardware issues, that is something I cannot help with. And you are going to want to contact eCollar Tech. Let me see. Do they have the number on the box? Um, right there on the back of the box. You got a toll-free number, a main number. You got their address right there. Um, you can also find your information on the back of the manual. You got uh, customer service at ecollar.com as well as their phone numbers and their address again. So I would either give them a call or shoot them an email. They've always been great to me and any of our clients that uh, need to reach out to them for any reason. Um, if you need any replacement parts, they're usually really good about getting those out really quick. Um, shoot them a message or give them a call. Uh, if you are a Dog Psychology and Training Center client, be sure to tell them that you're a Dog Psychology and Training Center client and that you got your equipment through us. Um, if they have any issues with like warranty coverage or anything like that, um, they, can, they can reach out to us. Hopefully those troubleshooting points helped you and we can get you back on track real quick. And uh, Tilly says goodbye.